Welcome to this short tutorial illustrating the pedagogical framework we intend to use in this Distinctive Pedagogies research project, which aims to support teachers and researchers in designing, testing and refining the unique pedagogies associated with the use of mobile technologies, such as the iPad. The framework we are using was developed initially by researchers in Australia and the United Kingdom, seeking to identify the specific pedagogical value to be gained by using mobile devices such as a mobile phone. It reviewed over 30 case studies in which mobile technologies had been used and identified three core constructs or affordances which appeared to be generated as a result of using mobile technologies. At the highest level, these were defined as personalisation, collaboration and authenticity. Personalisation is a generic term we use in the framework to describe several characteristics or affordances of mobile devices that make learning more individual. Here we can see two of these, which are described as agency and customisation. The use of mobile devices by learners, especially when they're used by the learner extensively as a personal device, significantly increases their independence and autonomy, uh, which we refer to here as agency. Agency enables students to make more choices about how they work, where they work, and when they work, including the time and pacing. Closely linked to this, in terms of personalisation, is the ability of mobile devices to be customised to the needs of the individual. For example, they begin to understand how the individual prefers to search, and just as eBay begins to feed information about your likes and dislikes, so mobile devices can be customised in the same way, enabling feedback to be more individualised. The second major concept in the framework is defined as collaboration, and this was identified as an important affordance of mobile devices, since it enables learners to work more closely together, sharing and testing their ideas with others who may be co-located with them in the same space or room, or they may be virtually collaborating with others in an online space. In this sense, collaboration is seen to consist of two sub-elements, conversation and data sharing. Conversation relates to the ways in which mobile devices can be used to encourage learners to engage in meaningful talk between themselves, exploring and testing their ideas with others in a social manner which underpins many of the theories of learning. Data sharing describes the many features of mobile devices which enable learners to construct new artefacts and representations of their learning, such as videos or animations, which they are then able to share with others, and also others who are located remotely through virtual channels and outlets, such as YouTube or Facebook. The third and final element of the framework is authenticity, a concept which is used to explain how mobile devices like the iPad or a mobile phone can be used to make learning more realistic and more meaningful. In this case, the two sub-elements, contextualization and situatedness, describe how mobile devices are able to provide greater and easier access to more realistic tasks and contexts for learning. Contextualised is used to measure the extent to which mobile devices can make the tasks which learners undertake more realistic and less contrived, as many school-based activities invariably tend to be. The situated strand refers to where the learning takes place, since mobile devices have been shown to make learning outside of formal institutions, such as museums or even the playground, far more feasible and therefore more situated in realistic settings. Taken together, these three constructs, along with their sub-elements, make up the basic features of the framework we will be using during this research project. In the next tutorial, we explore how each of the sub-elements can be examined and understood in further detail, using real examples.